So we're starting on the BandLab Sounds page, and I've selected packs and genre lo-fi. And I like this bedroom beats, so select that and open in Mix Editor. So now we're in the Mix Editor with the loop pack open here on the right. And I'm going to start by setting the BPM to match the BPM of the pack. In the interest of time, I've already auditioned these loops so you don't have to suffer through all that. And I've sped up the footage. But you can see me, I'm just dragging them in alphabetically as I scroll down. And then we'll figure out later which parts work well together. There's no need to really worry about that too much. That's part of the fun. Use your critical listening to just figure out which parts you like, which parts you don't, which ones work well together, and so on. You may have also noticed that I like to organize my projects with the drums on top, followed by the bass, then rhythmic stuff and melodic stuff coming down. It just helps to organize your session. You can do it your own way. All right, let's listen to what we got. Sounds pretty good already, considering we've got a lot going on there. So now I'm going to start listening to see which parts might be more for like a verse and which part sounds more like it belongs in the chorus. The verse is going to be more sparse. The chorus is going to have more things going on. Okay, we've got a kick there. It sounds more like a beat, so I'm going to change the name to Rain Bell Beat. Got a snare, some percussion. Okay, so since this beat doesn't have a hi-hat, I'm going to make that work for the verse because it will be more sparse. Then when the chorus comes in, those other drums put together will be a full beat with the hi-hat or percussion, and that will work better for the chorus. And you may have noticed that I selected the loop playback area and the loop playback button here so that it'll just keep playing back uh, while I'm working on it, which keeps me in the zone. So now we've got two parts with regard to the drums. So I'm going to use the solo button, which is the S there in yellow, uh, to figure out which bass goes best with which beat. You'll see me use the mute button later, indicated by the blue M there to turn things off and on. Okay, so I think this midday drama bass works best with the verse because it's a little more sparse. The other one is busier, there's more notes, and that will create a sense of increased dynamics for the second section. Okay, so we've got a pad, piano, some leads. I think I'm going to leave the lead stuff for the chorus so that the song has some place to build up to. Let's check out these pads. Now. This cotton piano pad I'm soloing. And then it's going to mute it on the chorus. I really feel like it needs to be in the whole time. So we'll leave that on. And how about this rain bell vocal pad? Yeah. These pads are kind of glue, so I'm going to leave them in throughout for now. Soloing this uh, rain bell vocal synth. I think I like that for the verse. It's very subtle, but it'll fit in with the sparseness. Try muting this pad one more time, just to see. No, I, I really feel like it, it holds it together. I'm not sure about that one yet. I'll leave it in for now. Turn this crackle up like I want that in the whole time. Now what I like to do is just organize the session again. Let's put the first section together and the second section together. And I should have made them longer before, so I'm going to make them 16 bars now. And then I put the, what I like to think of as sort of the icing on the cake parts, the, the pad, the crackle, put that at the bottom. Next, I'm going to go looking for places where I'm hearing problems and fix them. First off, I noticed in the first section at the end of the loop, right here, all of those loops kind of dip in dynamics at the same time, which creates this little dynamic hole, and I don't like it. So I'm going to open up the loops library, and I've already queued up lo-fi here, and I'm going to find something to fill that hole.
Nope, scratches aren't the answer. Yeah, I like that crackle better than the other one. Dragged it in there. No, hi hats, nope. Nope. Yeah, I like that. Let's see if it works with the track. Yeah, that works great. So I know this hole in the loop is either a quarter note or an eighth note. You don't have to worry about theory. It just means that it's a smaller rhythm than a, a whole loop, which is usually at least one bar long. So I'm going to change the grid size to an eighth note so that I can make sure to get the Rhodes piano or whatever that vibes keys hit to happen right where the hole is. And let's try it. Yeah, it works. Now, I don't think I really need the whole loop. I'm just going to trim it back for that first hit. Let's try that. Yeah, I think that's going to work. So now I'm going to copy it to all of the times that it happens. So there's a little trick, and it works with most DAWs. If you hold the Option key for Mac or the Alt key for Windows, um, and then drag it, it'll copy it. And then I can move that into the next spot. I'll just do that a few times. And it is a little bit harder to see when you're at this eighth note grid level. But, you know, you can either zoom in or just kind of wing it till you get it right. I think that's going to work, but I know I'll probably want to add some reverb or delay to further mask that dead spot in the loop. Now let's listen to the second section and see how it's doing. I've got two crackles going on now, and I don't like the original one, so I'll just get rid of it and turn the new one down a bit. Okay, now what I want to do is just add some kind of elements to either part of the song to just add some flavor, maybe a little randomness. I want to stay in this lo-fi genre, but I think I'll just search lo-fi with the genre tag in packs. Maybe just something a little different than just standard lo-fi like this minimal masters. Let's see what we have here. It's something melodic. Okay, this is good. Now let's see if it works in the right tempo and in the right context of the track. Yeah, I like that a lot. And I just noticed that I left this uh, rain bell vocal synth in the second half of the project. So we trim that back. Yeah, move that back up with the first section. Okay, so now I want to find a sound to kind of smooth over the transition between the first and second section. So I'm going to look for reverse cymbal, which is a tried and true transition sound. And since the project is at 77 BPM, I'm going to look for a crash that's in a similar BPM so it doesn't get stretched too much when we pull it into the project. And it looks like the slowest ones are here at the top. Yeah, I like that one. So let's drag that in. And I'm going to change the grid resolution back to bar so I can do this without having to zoom in. Cool. So I think now is a good time to give it a name and save it just so we got that handled. So now I wanna just add a vocal chop to the second half, even though it's, I know it's not really a lo-fi thing, but no, that's not it. 
I just, I'm kind of a vocal chop junkie, so let's humor me here. Find something that I like. I like that one. Yeah, works in the key. Let's see what it sounds like when it's at the right tempo. We'll drag it in and it will automatically stretch to the right tempo. Yeah, I like that. I don't like that second half, so I'm just gonna trim that and then loop just the first half of it. Let's try that. Add a little delay. Turn the mix down. The cutoff will just make it a little darker if I pull it down. All right, so I think that's good for now. The next step would be to mix it and pull things in and out. Maybe add some more stuff to make it a little unique. Copy and paste the whole arrangement at least once to make the song full length. But you can see how easy it is to find sounds on BandLab's sound page and then open them up in the mix editor. This is Aaron with BandLab. I make music under the name Animaltronics, so if you want to play around with this project, add to it, rap, sing over it, or whatever, you can click the link in the description, or just go to my BandLab page, at Animaltronics. And I hope to see you again soon.